Good morning, friends. We are here at Epcot for the Food and Wine Festival. I'm so excited. Yeah, we are very excited. We uh, we actually inadvertently rope dropped this morning. Uh, we weren't trying. I, I assure you, you don't need to rope drop yeah. the Food and Wine Festival. <laughs> Um, but apparently there was a, and there was a lot of people, I think a lot of people were trying to get into the Space 220 restaurant for reservations. So uh, we didn't it was pretty it crowded. We didn't it opened at 11. Yeah, it opened at 11. So yeah. we showed up and we, I knew it opened at 11, but it, we didn't mean to rope drop. So we, we, we were just coming here to get some food. So uh, it's been interesting. So it's going to be fun. We've never actually done the Food and Wine Festival before. No. So we're going to be taking this trip together. We're going to be doing this for the first time together and we're experiencing this so we'll see what we find uh, but we're excited excited to be here i very hungry as always i think i say that in almost every video do i just eat a lot we both do i think i just eat i, I just eat i just always <laughs> want to eat i don't know maybe it's because we walk around so much i'm always hungry so stay tuned we'll see what we find <laughs> walking into the food and wine festival look who we found it's our friend figment golden statue Hi, Figment. I love Figment. The dreaded question that we ask every time we come to the World Showcase. Do we go left or do we go right? Hmm. Which way do you go? Look who we found right near the entrance of uh, the World Showcase. Coco and Dante. I think Coco is probably one of my top Disney movies. I think it's underrated. It's got amazing music. I actually cried at the end. I love it. So if you're a big fan of Coco, and I don't feel like I don't feel like Coco shows up enough in Disney. So I'm really excited. I know that they've added Coco into the Mickey's Philhar Magic was going to be debuting soon. So excited to see that. Um, but uh, I think it's really cool. They've got a 50th statue of Coco and Dante here because I love Coco. I think he's underrepresented. So Fan of Coco. Here he is. Yay! Looking out here in the center lagoon area of World Showcase, you can catch a glimpse of the new uh, setup for Harmonious, which is going to be debuting here in a few short days. I've heard a rumor that there might actually be a soft opening of Harmonious on the 29th of September, so in a couple of days. So we're going to see if maybe we can catch that when it comes around. Uh, we'll see, but it looks, uh, it looks like it's got sort of this um, four points on these large black colored uh, structures. So I think you're probably going to get a good view of this harmonious from either the United States pavilion straight across or from this center area here. I don't know how great it will look from the sides. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I think you can see those, those structures on the left and right, but that circle thing is the only thing that maybe gives me a little concern that if you're on the sides of the lagoon, you might not be able to see it well. So we'll see uh, what we can find out. Obligatory Joffrey shot. Right here when you first walk up, uh, there's the swanky, the swanky sauce swine. Uh, when you first walk up to your left, entering the World Showcase, right before you get to the Mexico Plaza, and they have this crispy barbecue pork rinds, 475, and it looks super good so I think we're gonna give this a shot they also have a bourbon Bloody Mary so if you're a big Bloody Mary fan you might want to give this one a shot I'm gonna see if I can get I'm not gonna get it but I, I I've seen people walking around with them so I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of it um, what's interesting is it uses bourbon uh, in the Bloody Mary which is unusual because most obviously most Bloody Marys if you're a fan use vodka uh, but uh, I do know that they use Zing as the Bloody Mary mix ingredient, which I'm not a huge fan of Zing as a Bloody Mary mix, flavor-wise. Uh, so that's the only thing. So depending on if you like that, but you know, give it a try. If, if you've had it or you want to give it a shot, let us know in the comments what you think of this Bloody Mary. I'm gonna see if I can get a, a shot of it so you can kind of see. It looks, it actually looks really good. Here we have the barbecue pork rinds with pimento cheese. These look really good. I love pork rinds though, so. And they got some barbecue. We'll see how this is. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna try this pork rind with some pimento cheese, see how it is. It looks really good though. It smells good. So let's see how it is. Oh, 
crunchy. Mmm. Yum. It's really good. I love pork rind, so. That crispiness of that pork rind, and then that. I'm getting like a little bit of like zing from that pimento cheese at the end. Mm, it's really good. I don't I, I don't think I would have ever thought about putting a pork rind into pimento cheese before, so it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I love pork rinds. My dad used to buy pork rinds all the time for us growing up. The, the original barbecue, whatever he could find, he would buy. Um, so I've never had them with cheese, pimento cheese at that, but I'm gonna try it. It's very good. If you come here to the Food and uh, Wine Festival, you have to try those. They're four dollars and fifty cents, was which four seventy five, I think. Or four seventy five. Yeah. And which is cheap, um, and you get a pretty good portion. Um, the bag is pretty, and it's filled all the way up to the top. So, yeah, you should try it. They're very good. I'll be having more. <laughs> all right, so that's the Bloody Mary. Wow, that looks great. Enjoy. Do you just do you see the book here? You don't do hmm, Interesting. All right, so I just picked up this taco de ribeye from right outside yeah. the Mexican pavilion. You can see that okay. It's not very big, it was about $7, so not, not bad price-wise. Uh, we're, we're planning on picking up a lot of different things, so I'm kind of glad that it's small so I don't eat too much at one time, but um, it looks really good. It's got some steak in there, some uh, red onions, it's got a ranchero sauce, some cheese and chives, a guano pepper, I think, as well, and a corn tortilla, so we're gonna try it and see if it's any good. Uh, but it smells really good. It smells almost just like pretty, pretty heavy cheese uh, smell. So let's see how. Let's see if it's any good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dive in here. It is good. I'm getting like a heavy. I'm getting the the steak flavor, the beef flavor is coming through good. A little bit of cheese, kind of a salsa y flavor, but I feel like heavy. I'm getting like a heavy cheese flavor. Yeah, it is really good. It's like a good cheese. So if you if you like cheese, I just thought of what good. it reminds me of. Years ago, we used to go to Don Pablo's um, all the time, and I got the enchiladas. And something about the yeah. sauce, I have not had that in years. I stopped going there, and now they don't have them. But because they stopped carrying the enchiladas that I liked, that's exact. That tastes not exactly, but there's something in here that tastes like this. So I actually really like it. And it's got the corn tortilla instead of a flour tortilla, so I mean, which I think is more authentic, I guess. But you know, so if you're used to flour tortillas, corn tortilla is totally different flavor. You may or may not like it, but it's really good. I, I like it. Um, it. Kind of all comes together nicely. So. And it's not hot. It's not spicy at all. No. Like no spice level at all. So if you're worried about spices, you can definitely eat this. So seven bucks. Um, I would probably get it. I would probably get it again. Yeah, it was good. And if I was really hungry, but I don't know. If I was really hungry, I feel like I would need like five of them. <laughs> yeah, they're top, They're really small. And Which that would be like thirty-five dollars for five of those, and I that's probably that's yeah. probably too much. So, but if you're just looking to taste and try different things, seven bucks for one, I don't think is that bad. Yeah. Okay, now we'll try that. El Margaritas. I got a margarita. The La Classica margarita. Um, it says it has whiskey and tequila in it and like a chili salt around the edge. I don't know if you can see it. Instead of the typical just normal salt. So I'm going to go give it a try. I love whatever's around the chili salt, salt around the rim. Yeah. Yes, it's very good. It smells very citrusy. Now I wish that every margarita had that rim. <laughs> that rim, it's very, very good. Is it good? Yes. Do you like it? Yeah. I'm not like a huge margarita person, so I don't, I don't, I don't really dig margaritas. It's but she good. loves margaritas. And it's very sour, it's which I like. Is it good? Yep. What is this on is the it? edge? Some sort of chili salt? You chili said? salt. Is it spicy? No, taste it. It's 
salty. It just tastes like salt for me. No, and a little, oh, it's okay, it's good. Good. It's, there's a little, a little zing there. I'm starting it's to good. get it. It's not bad. Yeah, it is. It's kind of weird. It's, it's not bad, I guess. But the margarita is good. The classic margarita. And it was eleven dollars for the margarita. Yeah. Eleven bucks, you know. I'm sure in the local restaurant around the corner, you can probably get it for a lot cheaper. But I doubt stuff. it. But you know, it's good quality. It's, it's actually got some, I think, some decent whiskey yeah. and tequila in there. Yeah. So yeah. would you get it again? Oh yeah. Would you get it again? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think they had guys. another margarita. Um, it's called the El Tigre margarita, and I didn't get it. I was going to because it said pineapple, and I love pineapple. But um, I, I looked over it again. It said ginger, and I don't like ginger in my drinks. So. Yeah, which is weird because I we love I love, I ginger, love ginger. We love ginger like there's especially in like, like salad dressings and stuff and ginger flavor, but not in a drink, huh? Okay. It's good. For me. Good. All right, so I know we're here for the Epcot Food and Wine Festival, but I just can't resist the urge to hop into the Mexico Pavilion and ride the Grand Fiesta. So we're gonna do that real quick. I was just saying that I feel like they need more cocoa stuff in Disney and we came into the Mexican the Mexico pavilion uh, and look what I found cocoa check this out we got Dante and Coco here look at his little his little tails wagging down there so oh I love this and and if you look right here over on the right Check this out right here. It'll, it'll come in and, and, and just a second. Give it, a, give it a sec. I just love this. It's so cute. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes, I think. Oh, nope, not yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, here it comes. Look. Look. Do you see it? There's like the ghosts. And there's over here on the left, too. It's kind of hard to make out, but oh, they're gone again. But yeah, the, the little his little family members uh, pop up on the left and right there in sort of these like silhouette-y shapes. So uh, I just love Coco. Um, it's just, and, and then there's a little sign over here about the ofrendas. So yeah, yay for Coco. Hopefully they keep adding more Coco stuff because I am a huge fan of Coco. So we are heading into the Norway section to try to find some food. I don't know. I, can't, I don't know. I can't do. Is that that's it bad? Is that bad? It was it bad? It did, tell me if it was bad. It was Never bad, right? <laughs> but it doesn't look like there's any. It doesn't look like there's any special food and wine stuff in Norway. So I think we're just gonna we're gonna keep on cruising. But tell me, am I wrong? Somebody tell us. Put, put it in the comments. Let me know if we're wrong. But I didn't see anything. Um, obviously, Frozen is there, and I think everybody here in Norway is in the line for Frozen. All right. So we made it to the Indian pavilion Indian area and they've got all three of these items which look fantastic and they're super cheap five bucks for each one 525 for the korma chicken I think we're gonna give all three of them a shot let's see so now I am excited we just got to the Indian pavilion and they have all kinds of Indian food and we got what they call the full house which is all three food items the first item we got was the warm Indian bread it's got a pickled garlic mango salsa and the coriander pesto dips. So that's going to be exciting. The other thing we got was the korma chicken. It's got basmati rice, crispy chickpeas, and a spiced yogurt sauce. So 
Yum. Looks very delicious. Curry flavor. I'm excited about that. And then the last one we got was the Madras Red Curry. So roasted cauliflower, baby carrots, chickpeas, and basmati rice. So very excited to try all three of these things. We're going to dig in here. Uh, yeah. So Indian food, very big fan of it. And we're going to see. All right, so very excited. And interestingly, in the booklet, it actually said that the Indian location was not going to be open until October 1st. And so it's clearly before October 1st. So I don't know why it's open, but I'm excited because I've been wanting to try this stuff and uh, I love Indian food. So do the happy dance. She says I do the happy dance when, I, when I'm eating, I'm about to eat, and I get to eat something that I like. It's my food happy dance. Is that enough? Yes. You sure? <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Which one are we going to try first here? I'm going to try the, the naan. Okay. So I'm going to start with the warm Indian bread with the pickled garlic. So we'll see. Mmm. Very garlicky. Yeah. That means it's good. I'm trying the korma chicken. Mm. It's basmati rice, chicken, crispy chickpeas, and spiced yogurt sauce. It's very good. I love Indian food. Mm. Very garlicky and sour. So I guess pickled garlic kind of speaks for itself. I guess it it's pickled, vinegary garlic and so if you like garlic <laughs> it's a lot of garlic so um unfortunately you're gonna be you're gonna be smelling garlic from my breath for the rest of the day so garlic it's just it's, it is what it is okay here we go this is gonna be the mango salsa i wonder if it's similar to the mango mm. salsa at sauna mm. i don't think so maybe it's um it actually tastes more Asian. Oh. It tastes more like a an Asian mango salsa. Give it here. Try it. Tell me what you think. Uh, I was um. It's really good though. If you've had a mango salsa before, pretty similar. But I feel this, this like this one has like a little bit of Asian. Do you, you, do you? I feel like everything in it is pickled. Yeah, I mean it's Does it's sour. It it's good. I don't think so. But it's very any. Anyway, yeah. I don't know how else to say it yeah. besides the Asian flavor. Yeah. Uh, but it it's, tastes mango. Yeah, it's uh, alright. Mango. Asian. And now I'm gonna try the pesto. Uh, let's see. Coriander pesto. I like it. It's good. Not like a pesto, not like an Italian pesto. No. It's more. Just a little spicy. It's spicy. Yeah. yeah it's, spicy. it's like. But it's good. I like spicy. <laughs> it's kind of spicy. It's, it's probably too hot for you. Okay. I gotta get the water. He's a baby. Sorry. I. This is the only water they had. I'm sorry. I know it's in a bottle. Right? Uh, we didn't. We forgot to bring our canteen, so I have to drink the bottle of water. I'm sorry. It's a little spicy. It's trying to get, it's trying to heat up now. Okay, I think it's fading. It's fading, so I can. I'll try something else. Yeah, you're like, you're like, you, you are eating at an Indian place, so I guess I should expect spice. But when I eat Indian food, I get like a mild flavor, right? So if it's like a scale of one to ten when we get Indian food, I get a one, maybe a two, like depending on the place. If the place is, you know, sometimes one just tastes like I don't know tomato sauce or butter or something and it has not so I sometimes I'll go to a two maybe like on the very rare occasion I'll go to a three if it's like a really bland restaurant for Indian food so yeah so she usually gets like a ten no I got you did like eight. the Indian hot one time though that was an accident that was yeah <laughs> I ate it but it was rough yeah no she that was rough she did Indian hot one time they I were like they, they were like do you want the me. hot or Indian hot she's like oh yeah Indian Don't hot order yeah Indian, Indian hot, hot. Don't, do, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. She <laughs> she she likes hot stuff and it was she couldn't hardly eat her yeah. food, so nothing on here is Indian hot so far. Okay. Now I'm gonna try the red curry. 
All right, let's see. Let me get some of my actual pork here. Are there tomatoes in it? I don't think so. It's getting a little hot again. It's a little hot, but it's good. I so like the it. cauliflower. I'm not. I'm not actually getting like a lot of cauliflower though. I, well, I had the one cauliflower. Oh, okay. So she ate the cauliflower. <laughs> that was good. Look here. Look at this. Is this is the only. This is this is the cauliflower that's left. That, that's all I get. That's it. Just out. Good. So it's got rice, chickpeas, roasted cauliflower. I think what is the, uh, there's tomatoes in it, which it doesn't say that yeah, what is, in the I was ingredients, say. but there's a lot of tomatoes and I don't like There tomatoes, is a lot of tomatoes. So I'm just kind of eating A lot. I thought maybe it was going to be like a red pepper or something, but um, it's not. It's it, it's it's tomato, which I like tomato, but I don't think we, we probably, she probably wouldn't have gone for it if it had tomato on it. But Not a fan of tomatoes. I like it, actually. Yeah, I like it as long as I don't eat the tomatoes. It's got a good flavor. It is spicy, though. Um, and now that I keep eating like more uh, everything, it's just getting spicier and spicier. You know how Indian food it just keeps building layer upon layer of heat. So, okay, I haven't actually tried the the chicken. Oh, it's really good. Was it spicy? No. Am I gonna get drop kicked from the spice it's here? It's the corn. I don't chicken. think it's spicy. It's not. We'll see. Korma chicken. It's good. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one right there. If you're going to do any of the three, yeah. the chicken korma is it. It's got an awesome curry flavor. Uh, you know, not not a uh, not a, a chicken not a chicken tikka flavor, but like a curry chicken curry flavor. And yeah, you get, you like, get like a, like lot. a lot. Like there's a lot of chicken, and it's actually good chicken. Yeah. It's not like busted chicken. Like it's actually yeah, it's, it's actually really good. And the rice. Let me see. I got it all together. So let me. The rice. It's cooked well. It's um like a little, slightly al dente. Like just, it's not like super mushy, which you would expect sometimes when they're doing large batches of rice. But this is very well cooked, awesome. And then the chickpeas in here with the sauce. I don't know why that was crunchy. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the chickpea. No, the chickpea was a no go for me. I'm used to chickpeas being like soft, and you know, especially curried chickpeas, like soft cooked, boiled, whatever it is, and now it's crunchy, so it was like eating a nut. No good. I'm not, I liked it. I'm not a fan of the chickpea, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steer around the chickpea. Okay, so, what I need, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a little bit of the non-chickpeed chicken curry. I'm going to put it on the bread. Mmm, that's the one. That's the one. I love it. Yeah. Mm. So, I think for me, I would get the chicken. I would get the korma chicken again. Um, if I could ask for without the chickpeas, I would. And then I would probably get the naan. Um, I would get the naan as well because I like to dip my naan. The warm Indian bread. It's in called. yeah, it's the warm really yeah, the, the warm Indian bread, which by the way is not warm. Like mine, mine's not warm at all. It's, room it's like it just came out of a package. They, did, they didn't even bother to pretend like it was warm. Um, so I don't know why. Maybe maybe there was like a long line. They were just like, just get it out the door, and they just. But it's not warm at all. It's just like straight out of the. Like if I got out of a loaf of bread. Um, but I like to dip my naan or my warm Indian bread in the actual chicken and the sauce and the and the rice and eat it that way. Um, so I would get the bread and the chick the korma chicken. And then I think the pickled, the pickled uh, garlic is probably my favorite dip yeah. of the three. So Same. that's my rec. So I would not get the 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 red, the, the red, curry. red curry. I wouldn't get that again. A lot of um, tomatoes in it. Too many tomatoes, which I don't mind, but it was like super spicy too. So it's a pass for me. But flavor-wise, it was good. Um, yeah. So so there you have. It's Indian good. Indian food. It's awesome. So we're happy it was open early. Hey friends. So we just had so much fun at the Epcot Food and Wine Festival that uh, we are gonna actually have to break this episode into two parts. So stay tuned for tomorrow, the exciting conclusion to the end of our journey around the world at Epcot. Uh, I promise you it'll be worth the wait. 
There's a lot of good content coming. So tune in tomorrow and uh, just remember that the, the noble way is the easy way.